Привет! Майкл Деннер here. Another short, quick lecture for students at Stetson University studying elementary Russian. Um, last lecture, um, I introduced the lecture by saying that it's impossible to talk about um, the Russian consonant system without talking about the Russian vowel system. Um, and that's because uh, um, of the existence of the phenomenon called palatalization, which means that in Russian, um, many, not all, of the consonants in Russian actually have two phonetic values, have two sound values behind them. Um, they have a hard and a soft variant of every consonant. That's why I s said at the beginning of the lecture that the Russian consonant system has half as many graphemes, half as many letters as it needs, because every because the letter, the consonant sound D actually um, has two distinct sounds, a hard and a soft one. Um, and it also has twice as many vowels as it needs. And here we go over to the vowels. Um, it has twice as many vowels as it needs because the vowel system um, includes five vowels, just like English. Um, but it uses five gra it uses ten graphemes, ten letters to represent those five vowel sounds. And it, it has that system because the vowels indicate hardness or softness of preceding consonants, yeah? I'm, I'm going to write that out, right? Um, uh, vowels can, in Russian, oops, got to type in English, vowels in Russian can indicate the softness or hardness of the preceding consonant, yeah? So, uh, so in addition to sort of carrying out the task of vowels, um, uh, the graphemes in Russian serve as a mark that indicates the pronunciation value of the preceding consonant, um, if there is a preceding consonant. So um, let, let's continue to talk about this theoretically, and then we'll um, look at some examples, and it'll make a little bit more sense. But, um, you know, listen, um, um, we have A, E, I, O, and U in Russian. We have those five vowels. And like I said, there are the same vowels in Russian. There's an additional vowel in Russian and in English, the schwa, but we're going to leave those aside. Um, uh, Russian has five vowel sounds, but it has ten graphemes, ten letters that represent it. So every one of these vowels is going to actually have two Russian characters that represent it. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through them all right now. Um, Russian hard vowel that represents the ah sound is... Uh, you got it. It's the ah. No problem there. Um, but it also has a soft vowel. Um, really, we should say a vowel that induces softness in the preceding consonant, but that's wordy, and so we'll often say things like soft vowel and hard vowel. Um, and the soft vowel that corresponds to um, ah is the letter ya. We have the uh sound in English, and Russian has an uh sound as well. Um, the hard vowel um, that represents the hard the, the, the graphing that represents the hard inducing a uh sound is the ye abarotnaya, the backwards e, this funky looking character that kind of looks like the letter three. Um, and the soft vowel in Russian um, is the letter ye. We have this e sound that in English we, um, we have sort of a problem with our, the names of our letters. Um, but we have this e vowel, and in Russian that e sound. Um, for that, that 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 belongs in this hard vowel co um, column that induces hardness in the preceding consonant is the 61, the yri. Um, Russians call this the um, uh, um, kind of sounds like the letter y. And the soft pair for that is the backwards n, um, um, uh, the 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 e um, o, the hard inducing vowel. There we go. It's the letter o in Russian. And the soft inducing vowel is the Yo, that's the letter that looks like the letter ye with two little dots over it. Finally, we have um, the oo sound, the vowel that's pronounced in the back of your mouth. And the hard vowel for there, um, it's the one that looks like the letter y. It's the Greek letter upsilon, oo. And the soft inducing vowel, if I know where it is on my keyboard, I apparently don't. Give me a second. New keyboard. There we go. Um, the, the um, what we call the Starship Enterprise in class, the U. And so here we have the ten graphemes representing five vowel sounds, the 
The, the function of these uh, of this, this system of vowels is that the soft vowels indicate softness in the preceding consonant and the hard vowels indicate hardness in the preceding consonant. So let's take a couple look let's take a look here. I actually want to spend time doing this in class, but um, let's go back. I, I pronounced the word earlier, the word tsiotsia. Um, that's a great um, word. Um, everybody loves their ant, um, and this word means ant in Russian. And what we see here, let me make it a little bit larger. Um, we have a consonant. We have two consonants, the letter, the letter is T. Um, and our question is, is this a hard T or is this a soft T? And to ascertain that, we, we look at the, the vowel that follows it. And here we go. Look, we have the yo that follows the T here, and that's in the soft vowel column right here. Um, the second T is followed by the letter ya, and uh, that too is in the soft vowel. And that means that both the T's here are pronounced both T's are soft because each T is followed by a vowel that induces softness in the preceding consonant. Um, here's another good word. Um, um, it's, 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 it's useful um, because we get to see um, the other sufficient cause for a consonant to be pronounced as a soft consonant. So here we go again. Um, we have the consonant D and the consonant N in this word, zeng. Zeng means day, as in all day long. Um, and so we have two consonants, and we scratch our head, and we say, golly, is that a hard or a soft? Um, we look, D is followed by the letter ye. We look over here in this um, chart, and oh, look, ye induces softness in the preceding consonant. So there we go. The D here is a soft D. Um, and now our next consonant is the letter N. Um, is that hard or soft? Well, we look at the, the next grapheme there, and what do we see? We see the soft sign. We see what looks like a little V, the miachiznak, which means soft sign in Russian. And we know that consonants that are followed by the soft sign are pronounced soft. And so the D and the N uh, are both soft. Now let's look at a word that has um, a mix. Um, let's look at the word, that's a good one, institut. Um, and let's go through all of the consonants here. So we have the letter N. Is that hard or soft? Well, we look at the next letter, and well, we have an S there. Well, um, our rule is that unless otherwise marked, consider the, co the consonant as being hard, and then we list the reasons that something would be soft, and the two reasons are um, the consonant is followed by a soft sign or is followed by a vowel that induces softness in the preceding consonant. And the S is neither one of those. And that's why we know that this N is a hard N because the N here um, doesn't have any reason to be pronounced soft. And the default is hard. Remember that phrase, the default is hard. Here we have the S. What's it followed by? It's followed by the T. Um, well, um, uh, what is the default? The default is hard. I don't see any reason here. There's no soft sign, and nor is there a soft-inducing vowel, so I'm going to pronounce that t that S as a hard. Now, the next consonant is the T, and what is it followed by? Oh, it's followed by, by, by the backwards N, by the E, and we look up at our chart. Oh, that's a soft Russian vowel, so that T is a hard, is a soft T. The next T is followed by the letter U. We look up at our soft chart here, and we see that U is a hard Russian vowel. Um, U is a a vowel that induces hardness in the preceding consonant. So we know that this T is a hard consonant. Finally, we come to the end of the word, and we have a T. And we look, and we do we, do we have sufficient cause here? Is there a soft sign, or is there a vowel that induces softness in the preceding consonant? No. And so we know that the default is hard. There's no evidence that says pronounce this as soft, and so we know it's pronounced as hard. Um, and so I'm going to um, um, color red the letters that are soft. That's a soft. And that's it. It's the only soft consonant in this word. Here we have the D and the N are both soft because we have sufficient cause to pronounce them soft. And both T's in the word tsiotsia are soft. There we go. Now you understand the relationship between consonants and vowels in Russian. You might not know how to pronounce all of the soft consonants. We're going to work on that in class. We're going to practice that in class. But now you know how we know whether a consonant is hard or soft.